All right, so it's been a few years now since Google released the Pixel 3a. Back in 2019, the Pixel 3a was a way of bringing Google's signature hardware brand to more people through more affordable pricing. Since then, however, we've seen the newer Pixel 4a and the Pixel 4a 5G take center stage in Google's mid-range Pixel lineup. As good as these devices are though, it's no secret that some people are still on the hunt for their very own Pixel 3a in 2021. Maybe you're after one because it's cheaper now and closer to your budget, or maybe you just want a Pixel 3a to add to your collection. Whatever the case may be, here are a few things that I think you should know if you plan on purchasing a Google Pixel 3a in 2021. Hey, what is going on YouTube? Mike here from Team VRY, and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so looking at the hardware, it's pretty obvious that the Pixel 3a comes with specs and a design that you'd find on phones from a couple of years ago. It's a very minimalist and compact device compared to most smartphones, and while it does feature a small 5.6 inch OLED display, the Pixel 3a lacks the hole punch design that you see on a lot of modern phones, and some people will prefer this as you do get a screen that isn't obstructed in any way. It's a high resolution 60Hz display with 1080p, and perhaps my only complaint that it's not very bright under direct sunlight. It also features top and bottom stereo speakers which do have a nice bass sound and also comes with a headphone jack. If you're going to use this as a device for media consumption then it's going to serve you very well but unfortunately there is no micro SD slot so you're stuck with 64 gigs of internal storage for your media. In addition there is a fingerprint scanner at the back which in my opinion is a very convenient location. On the inside you have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 SoC paired with 4 gigs of RAM which in this day and age is pretty much a standard for a lot of mid-range phones. Now while this configuration doesn't sound like much, it actually does a good job of providing smooth day-to-day -day usage. Web browsing, media consumption, and even most games on the Play Store are effortlessly handled by the Pixel 3a, although you have to keep in mind that you won't get flagship level performance on this phone. The 3000 mAh battery also does a great job of lasting throughout the day. I usually charge my phone at night, go about my business, and finish my day with around 20 to 25% left. Of course, if you play a lot of games or use data, then you will need to charge more often. The Pixel 3a comes with a 12 megapixel main camera alongside an 8 megapixel front camera. What sets it apart from the rest of the mid-range competition, however, is Google's camera application. The image processing software baked into the OS works wonders, and the Pixel 3a makes for a great point-and-shoot camera in both day and night situations. There's also image stabilization, so Video clips don't have that shaky look to them. Alright, so let's move on to software. The Pixel 3 has since been updated to Android 11, which is the current version of Android at the time of this video. It's also scheduled to get Android 12 at some point, so we can expect another major firmware update with this device. Google also provides monthly security updates for this phone, which does add value to the Pixel 3a. Now, having said all of this, what's the catch? Well, since it is an older device, Google announced last year that it will officially discontinue the Pixel 3a. This means means that the last firmware update that it'll get is most likely Android 12. Additionally, if you want to purchase the Pixel 3a, you'll have to get it through third-party retailers as Google no longer sells it on their website. Now, speaking of purchasing the Pixel 3a, you can find it at lower prices these days. It first launched at around 400 bucks, but today you can get it brand new for around 300 bucks depending on your retailer or secondhand for less than 200 bucks. Of course, this may vary and you'll really have to do some digging to get a Pixel 3a at extremely low prices. So, should you still buy the Pixel 3a in 2021? Well, if you are not always after the latest Android phones and are instead looking for a bargain deal, then there's a good chance that you can get a Pixel 3a at a lower price these days. It still provides a great user experience, comes with some pretty good specs, and gives you the best of what Google has to offer in terms of Android hardware. Of course, you do have to take into account the older design and spec sheet, but if these don't bother you, then by all means, get this phone. Guys, we have a lot more Google Pixel content here on Team VRY, so be sure to check out our other videos. Once again, Thanks for watching.